It's been a year of strides and strife around the globe. On the latter end, one of the most notorious events took place on September 11th in Benghazi, Libya. Four Americans, including the U.S. ambassador, were killed in an attack on the U.S. consulate there. Syria's civil war intensified and spilled over its borders, triggering military responses from Turkey and Israel. Next door, Israel and Hamas waged an eight-day battle in November. Thousands of rockets were fired and more than 150 Palestinians were killed, along with six Israelis. Egypt staged the first free presidential election in its history, following the ousting of Hosni Mubarak in the Arab Spring. Mohamed Morsi won the two-day runoff. However, the goodwill turned sour in November when Morsi decreed himself as having near-absolute powers, and that triggered mass protests and violent clashes. On the other end of things, Myanmar, long a bastion of oppressive military rule, took positive political steps in 2012. The country's National League for Democracy won 43 of the 46 seats that were up for grabs, including one by Aung San Suu Kyi. China also released a well-known blind dissident. Chen Guangchang was able to flee the communist country for the U.S., where he continues to try to reform his homeland. However, in Russia, two women in the punk band called Pussy Riot remain jailed for this impromptu protest concert staged in a Moscow church. And all eyes turn to London for the Summer Olympics. More than 200 countries participated, but it was this man, Michael Phelps, who stole the spotlight by becoming the most decorated Olympian of all time. The city of London and all the UK had even more to celebrate with the announcement that the Duchess of Cambridge, the former Kate Middleton, wife of Prince William, is pregnant with the future king or queen of England. John Belmont, Associated Press.